After years of planning and weeks of buildup, the sun has finally set on the 2024 Great American Eclipse. The total solar eclipse passed through southern Missouri and Illinois. And while the St. Louis region missed out on the path of totality, the celestial event had people from all over the bi-state putting their special eclipse glasses and looking to the heavens. Many headed south to see the total solar eclipse. And tonight it is still a slow go on I-55 for people coming home from areas down south. Here is a live look at traffic in the Festus area right now, nearly eight hours after the moon passed by the sun. And our chief photojournalist, Randy Schwanker, is among those in the traffic jam. He is driving our satellite truck back from Cape Girardeau where he was a part of our live coverage today. And it was a much slower go for visitors who drove south in their Teslas. Yeah, we came across several EVs waiting to charge at a gas station in Cape Girardeau. Several had out of state plates. Drivers tell us they had to wait an hour to 90 minutes to get a charge. Coming straight from Poplar Bluff here, I think I've been in line for it's about 35 minutes, so okay. it's not too bad. Once we got here, the cops closed down the Tesla station. We couldn't even get in here for over an hour and a half, maybe. Earlier today, our crew spotted plates from 36 different states in the Cape Girardeau area. For the second time in seven years, Carbondale was in the path of totality, and this time for more than four minutes. Holden Kerwicki joins us live from the campus of SIU with more on a day that will go down in history. A long day for you, Holden. Uh, that's exactly right, Kelly. But over the course of the last week, I've met with researchers both here at SIU and from NASA and met visitors from as far away as China, Thailand, and even Brazil. They told me this was one event that they would not miss for the world. However, even with all the insurmountable hype, somehow it lived up to it. For the second time in seven years, visitors from around the world flocked to Carbondale to capture the Great American Eclipse. We knew that Carbondale had it last time in 2017. X marks the spot this time, so we wanted to come here. While many repeat eclipse watchers admit the view from Saluki Stadium was a bit underwhelming in 2017, it was so cloudy that you barely saw anything. The 2024 eclipse featured crystal clear skies with 360 degree views of dusk during totality. Nothing compares to seeing it in person. As the sun and moon perfectly aligned, crowds across Carbondale cheered, while others openly admit that they wept. The city is what's emotional. Like, I couldn't describe it in words. Like, I teared up a little bit. I kind of shed a couple tears myself like a dork, but it's just like the beautiful white light around it. You can't even, it's just indescribable. It's not something that you see every day and it just makes you like you're just a small piece in just a big world. With that in mind, eclipse chasers like Jared Lopez are already making plans to catch the next eclipse half a world away. Next one in Spain in a couple of years. My brother and I want to do one in New Zealand. It's a little far off for that, but, but I would love to see it. North America won't see another coast to coast eclipse like this until 2045. Unfortunately, Southern Illinois and in particularly Carbondale will have to wait over 300 years before it is again in the path of totality. Reporting live in Carbondale, Illinois, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. All right, Holden, great job today. Mm -hmm. Hope you can get some rest. Yes. For more pictures, videos, and coverage of the great American eclipse, text the word eclipse to 314-425-5355, and we'll send you a link.